Knowing where you are and where your model's information is is vital in AutoCAD. Everything in life is relevant from a certain point of view. And so is AutoCAD data. AutoCAD has a world coordinate system. It's a system that's based on a Cartesian coordinate system that we commonly use in math. That's where we get our coordinates from. So if I type in the line command and I pick a point, that point is at a specific place based on our Cartesian coordinate system or our X and Y graph. The X coordinate or portion of the coordinate represents our horizontal, our left to right. The Y goes straight up and down. Now in AutoCAD, since it's 3D work actually, there's also a Z value, which is straight up and down and by default goes to zero unless you type it in. So I can draw a line to a point called zero comma zero, which is the origin of this Cartesian coordinate system. And I can go to any specific spot. AutoCAD uses what they call the world coordinate system. That is just one system that says zero comma zero comma zero is right here and everything else is relative to that point through units. And they define it as the world coordinate system. Now, AutoCAD has that so that all of our files can work with each other on one system. That zero comma zero is just an arbitrary point, but whenever we use it in file to file to file, it keeps us relative to each other in our locations. Now that really only comes into play when we're inserting other drawings into other drawings, creating blocks and copying and pasting them to our original coordinate systems, or when we're X-refing other files, they need a base point of reference. And the world coordinate system is what we use. Now you don't always have to use the world coordinate system though. You can customize one. You can have it to be a little bit different. And you might do that because it might help you to create a skewed view in your drawing somehow. Or maybe you're trying to lay something out and it's not perfectly horizontal and perpendicular, but maybe it's on a weird angle, like 37 and a half degree angle. Well, that's kind of hard to do. You can create a user coordinate system or a UCS that is defined about that specific angle. So let's say that I have something that looks just like this. Very arbitrary, I'm just drawing it in. But when I turn on my ortho command, I try to draw lines because I want to draw them straight and perpendicular and parallel. I can't do that. I can't interact this way. So let's say I want to draw a line. It goes from here to over here. I have to turn off my ortho command and I can't make it perfectly parallel or anything. What I would have to do is offset this a certain distance and then trim it and things like that. Well, that's a lot of extra effort. But what I can do is use my UCS. Now what you want to do is make sure UCS follow. That's a command. And make sure that's set to one. Now, when you set it, that's only saved per the drawing file. So it's only going to be in that file. So you can turn it on here, open up another file, and it might not be turned on. Another thing you probably are going to want to do is make sure your visualize tab is turned on in your ribbon. If it isn't, just click on anywhere on these ribbon tabs, go to show tabs, and go to visualize. So it probably looks something like this. It's not in here. But if you right click, go to show tabs, and click on visualize, that will turn it on. And here you have a lot of coordinate system things that you can work with to manipulate our coordinate systems. Here this shows the UCS icon at the origin. That's what I'm doing right here. This is the UCS icon. Now I can customize the UCS very easily just by clicking on things right here. So if I can click on this and drag it to right here, snap to that point, I've created a new UCS. Now I can rotate it and now I've created a new UCS. Now I haven't changed the file any. Everything is still back relative to the world coordinate system. But now when I draw a line and I turn on my F8 button, these lines are parallel. This line and this line are parallel. These two lines are parallel because I defined my UCS according to this line here. Now I can change it again, flip it around there. I can move this over here, flip that around. It allows you to work differently. Now, if I want to reset everything, I just come to this bottom button here on my X and Y coordinate on my icon and click on world. And it resets it back to my world coordinate system. Now, to kind of show you that my zero comma zero is going to stay there, even though I change it, I'm going to draw a circle. I'm going to put it at coordinates of zero comma zero. So there it is right there. I'm just going to give this a radius of 10 units. So at this circle is the origin of my world coordinate system. 
Now, when I change this again, and I can change this, and this easiest way to change your UCS is really just by grabbing the icon itself. Or you can also come up to these controls on the coordinates panel. Any of these here will rotate about a certain axis. You can rotate about the X or Y or Z axis. This command here will take you back to a previous used coordinate system. This will allow you to redefine the origin. You can change it about an X axis or by a three point axis. So you can do a lot of different things with all of these controls here. I can even go to specific types of UCS that are pre-saved like world. But the easiest way to change your UCS is to just grab your icon, click move and align. So I can grab it here and then done. Hey, see, this was my origin point zero, zero. But if I draw a line and I go to point zero comma zero, it's going to start down here now, not up here. This is at a different set of coordinates now because we're using a different coordinate system. And now I can more easily work with this line work right here. And then when I'm finished, Again, I just type in UCS and I have different options here, but I click on world and it puts me back to my world coordinate system. Now, let's say I changed my UCS and I want to save this. Well, if I go to my UCS manager or UCS man, I can type that in or I can click right here. It allows me to save these things. So I have this unnamed one. I right click on it and I say rename. I'm just going to say UCS number one. Click OK. I can set it current. So now when I come up here to my coordinate system, I can go back to the world coordinate system, or I can very easily or quickly toggle to my UCS01, getting me back to where I was. Now my line work has changed. If I xref a file back into here or reference this file into another one, they'll still reference correctly. If I copy or paste an object from one file to another, they'll still come in to the same coordinates at the proper rotation. This just allows you to kind of, if you're drawing on the board or on a table, it's like grabbing your sheet of paper you're drawing on and just rotating it slightly, moving it around to get a different angle so that you can still draw on it properly. So UCS options are fantastic. It's a great way to help you get a different view to help you work at it. Now, you can also do this if you're cutting a viewport of a drawing and you want to rotate the view. This is another way to do it very quickly and easily. Also, the nice thing about this is that when I go to annotate something, I want to throw some dimensions on. I don't have my scale settings set up correctly for here, but what it does is it allows it to follow them properly. So if I change my UCS here and I rotate it and I throw a dimension on here, that'll really help. Now, if I go back to my visualize tab and go to world coordinate systems, you'll see my dimensions here still follow because they are created according to that UCS and I can dimension things a little bit easier if they're at an angle. So there are a lot of different reasons to create and use a custom user coordinate system, or UCS. We'll help you work with or visualize your lines, your data, your drawings in a different angle.